Hi guys, Paolo here. Welcome back to Just Another Dang How To Channel. It's been a while since my last video. Um, on this channel, I teach about tips and tricks about software development. Um, last year, I started on learning Unreal Engine 5 on my M1 MacBook Pro. Back then, it wasn't running on Apple Silicon Native. You can build it from the source and get it running uh, using the native version, but it was still experimental back then, and it has all sorts of issues like flickering screens and um, some um, not so decent FPS. I took a break from that journey and decided to wait until there's a stable version for the Apple Silicon. So last month they announced uh, Unreal Engine 5.2. I'm excited to learn that Unreal Engine 5.2 now supports the Apple Silicon and can be launched directly from the Epic Games launcher. So right now, uh, it's still on preview. Unreal Engine 5.2 Preview 2 is available since I think last month, April. So let's give it a go. Okay, so I have the Epic Games Launcher already open here. If you don't have Epic Games Launcher, you could go to epicgames.com and click on download here. That should download the installer for you for the launcher. And then you would need to kind of sign in and create an account and all of that. So once you've signed in and created your account, you could go here under Launch Epic Games Launcher and go under Library. So I currently have the engine version 5.1.1 installed. So if I want to add a new version, I could click on that plus icon. And here it's offering me 5.0.3. So if I click on that down arrow, I should get this uh, 5.0.2 preview. So I'll go ahead and install this. It's gonna give me this prompt. It's not fully testable, uh, not fully tested, and maybe unstable. Do not use this release for active development of projects. So, we just want to test out that preview. So, go ahead, uh, pick the path where you want it to be installed. Yeah, it's gonna take some time. It's sixteen point three gigs so i'll resume this video recording once the download is finished all right so the download is finished let's go ahead and launch it all right that took some time to launch um but it seems to be loading everything a bit faster Say okay, okay. It opened up in my other window, so it opened up my other projects here. It's the one that has a little bit more detail. Let's try, yeah, I'm just gonna try this, this one. I'm also gonna open the activity monitor. Let's check out Unreal. So you can see there the kind is saying uh, Apple. If this was the Intel version or the non native, it would say here Intel. So looking good so far. It's running native. And open up here. Uh, same thing as before, I need to open up the region, so I think if I double click here, it would show here, and then I just highlight that and say load. Oh, let's see. All right, responsiveness is a bit better. I could zoom in and zoom out. Can look at the details of this guy. Let's try playing it.
All right. I, uh, yep, there's a bit of lag there. I think all the meshes aren't fully loaded yet or the shaders. Uh, yeah, but there's a bit of lag. But at least there's no flickering. All right, so this is kind of looking promising. Uh, so in the next few days, I'll be deep diving on all the latest features of Unreal Engine 5.2 and see how they stock up uh, here on my M1 Pro. Cool. So that was it. Just testing it out. I uh, hope you like this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers. Bye for now.